Good evening, folks. Sorry if the music's a little loud, but I just thought I'd show you how to draw Hannah Barbera's John of the Jungle, who was previously voiced by BJ Ward, aka Betty Jean Ward, but we're not going to go into too much detail. But to me, I think she and Laurie from Inch High Private Eye remind me from Dark Uncle and Oaks a little bit. But we're not going to do too much detail. Okay, let's see. Is everyone sitting comfortably? Then we shall begin. First off, we'll just change the uh, settings of the freehand path tool. Change that to 0 0.0. Bring your flower We'll start with the head first. Oh, wrong size. We need it on 10. Just ignore the music and just follow what I do silently, okay? Just start with the head. Maybe turn that down a Just thought I'd give um, a little music to lighten up the mood. Sorry if it's a bit distracting. So, as I was saying before, John is voiced by BJ Ward, but in my opinion, she looks like one of the Garfunkel and Oates cast members, who I, who I, you know, support very much as an actress herself. Uh, Ricky, I'm not going to mention her last name due to, you know, privacy reasons. We've got to respect privacy, but... Um, Jonna does remind me of her in addition to, you know, it's a shame Hanna-Barbera didn't use her as much, except in Yogi Space Race, for that matter. Uh, I needed to get a little she's all that into it so we could get into the mood of drawing this beautiful Hanna-Barbera character. I know, um, you know, but I do, I do have a crush on old cartoons such as... Um, the girl voiced by Tina Holland. I don't know if it's in Funky Phantom. I don't know. But um, I do have a crush on some Hanna-Barbera females. Well, above the age of Judy Jetson, I'm, I'm afraid, because, you know. But anyway, John and Laurie remind me of Ricky Lindholm um, for two reasons. They're, both, they're all blonde. They've both got um, long hair. And, uh, you know, they remind me so much of her. I should have told you this properly in our last episode, but I wanted to get these out. I want to get. I wanted to get these out of the way, just to get a little capture the essence of the characters. For no Hanna Barbera are very styled back in the seventies, not like what Warner Brothers Animation are doing. So anyway, back to this. Um, so we've drawn her hair so far. Well, we've drawn her head. We need to be careful of her hair when we draw it because we don't want to mess it up. So you want to make sure it's level so that we uh, draw the particular character. So for her hair, for her hair uh, features, we've got to make sure it's the optimizer 0, 0.00 and not over 50 because you want to capture the essence of this character. So as I grow over this line, we make sure that her hair is connected and we're not, you know,
we don't want to go around doing this character wrong. We've uh, made that particular mistake already in the last six videos. So you wanna you wanna you wanna make sure um, that she's you know level in this um, particular design of hers because Hanna Barbera, you know, um, sympathised while the anime with the animators very clearly on how. And what and how and what they should look like. I know Jana um, speaks very very formal, so she has a beautiful lifestyle. She has a great superpower: talking to animals, defeating her villains that are, that are a threat to her animals and jungles. So, yeah, I still think she's very hot. Okay, this video, all these future tutorials are for people over 16. People under the age of 16 must not watch this video. This contains a bit of um, innuendo just for future reference. If you are under the age of 15, you must, you must, you must be accompanied by an adult to see. Even though John is a kid's character, um, you just need to be careful on here, you know, privacy issues and whatnot. Yeah, but we're drawing her, her boomerang band or whatever superpower she has. I've forgotten what it's called because I just didn't, you know, I never got the chance to watch John of the Jungle because we never had most of it on um, Boomerang in the UK. So we didn't watch Godzilla either. I don't know if it was on Cartoon Network before I was born in the UK, despite, and I don't despise it, or whether it was airing on the BBC or CITV, I don't know. But um, great underrated 70s show. At least she made a cameo on Yogi Space Raid. Too bad BJ Ward was uncredited, but at least she had an appearance, you know, that, you know, not superhero based. Right, we'll get down to her skirt in just a moment. We're just going to make sure that her arms are properly in place so that we don't, um, you know, go over this. Want to make it? Want to make it all level? As for the background, we will just not give it a background. We'll just give it like a different color. So pretend that she's not in the jungle. Is what I'm saying. Wow. For a beautiful jungle woman, she's really hot. I wonder if they got the idea of that jungle woman, uh, not Jane, there was this other classic jungle woman. I can't remember her name. I don't know if she's, I don't know whether she was based on her, but just to make sure, just concentrate on that particular part of the body. We don't want to make sure she's out of place or anything like that. Right, I'm going to stop talking and show you how to go around these edges you want them to be level not you know I've said this before, many times rambling on, and I will say it again, she is smoking.
her arms want to be in length, so level in length. So if you see any like uh, boxes of scribbles, you might want to clean them up using the paint tool and adding the adding the eraser to make sure that they're straight and limp. So not like what I've just done there. You want to be very, very level with these. So remember, any scribbles, do not always try again. So I'm only doing these to show you if you, you know, have that kind of position where you're stuck, that sort of thing. Scribbles are like, you know, mistakes that you can never make. Again, if you keep an eye out, but there's nothing wrong with scribbles. You're just going to make sure that in the final product, you've got her, you know, drawn straight and less, you know, you got to give her that rustic 1970s cartoon classic look. Okay, let's see how we've gotten so far. Wow, she is smoking. Let's do the rest of the arm now. Yep, just got to do the body. Now, for her lips, because she's a Hanna-Barbera character, you want to make sure that you don't use um, black to draw over. Can just draw over with pink. You can just do it um, with normal number one. If you move it to number one or zero, you won't have a problem with that. Okay, let's draw the rest of the eyes and stuff first. So if we give her like, use this pencil to go over, you know, her moustache, no, eyebrows, my mistake, to make her look like she's sophisticated and more distinguished for most Hanna-Barbera characters. So you might want to go down a couple of sizes, sizes, and just draw her nose a little smaller. That smaller. There we go. We'll give her those beady eyes. Beady pupils. And there you have it. We just need to go down for a bit.
Do you want to change the number still? We want to go back to the freehand path tool and just draw her lips. Try that again. If at first you don't get it the first couple of times, do indeed make a lip straighter though. There we go. Now we can go back to 7.00. And there you have it. We need to give, let's move my face up so we can actually give Donna's eyes a good look. We don't want them too buzzy. So we'll keep it on number one. Now for her pink lips. Ooh, she's so hot. No, we might want to make them a bit less pinker. There we go. Now, you might want to use the eyedropper tool, color selector tool, so you know which color her, green, her eyes, which shade of green you want to have her. I say, or you can just pick by color coordinating. And then you want to give, if you want to zoom out and just, you know, shorten her, the size down so you can make sure that her eyes are all, you know, that sort of thing in the right territory. You want to make sure they are in the uh, territory so you're not, you know. There we go. Now for everything else. Have we left anything out? Let us see. No, nope, she's still beautiful. Now for her skirt or dress or whatever. For her face, you want to go on zero so that you know that not everything is covered. I want to make sure 
that it's not everything has to be the same color. Due to copyright, you can always change the tone of color. You can always, you can start doing that, you know, if you feel like you can. But you don't want it too blonde, so we'll make it like a see-through. That's better. Okay, have we missed anything else? If we have, we can always go back to it. See? Okay, we can get rid of the let's see what let's see what else is missing. Let's have a look at the top. Nope. Nothing else here. Nothing else at the bottom. Yes, she looks beautiful. Okay, we'll add the green background to give her that John of the Jungle look. And away we shall go. Wonderful. We we'll just need to add the blonde part at the bottom, and then we are ready to finish this part of the uh, part of her hair. The drawing will be finished. So the idea is, if you've already done it but you've missed a few parts, just colour it in to make sure it's not see through. Because I do this all the time with my drawings. I I leave it for see through. You don't want to look at like that. You've got to make sure everything is perfect all in one, especially if you, if you want to impress, you know, on Instagram, your fan art and whatnot. You need to, you know, have that kind, you know. Anyway, and that is all we have time for. Let's just come out of here. And she looks great. But, yeah, that's all that time we have, we have time for. I'll be back next week with Inch High Private Eye. Take care, folks. TLD, Flyer Tower 658 Ultimate, signing off. Ta-da! Bye!